doing a Linux distribution review of Super X thanks to the developer who actually emailed me on uh, YouTube. He liked my videos and wanted me to review this. Uh, I jumped at it because I thought it was very going to be very fun, which it is. I had a lot of fun doing it. Now, um, here here we got Super X running uh, right now in the background. It is on, it is on a virtual machine right now. And it's based on Ubuntu uh, KD, with KDE environment. Now, uh, as far as what they modified themselves, they're using their own icon set uh, right here. Um, obviously, the splash screen and the wallpaper. Um, I think the uh, the file browser as well has been uh, uh, modified a little bit, and the KDE desktop environment itself. Now, um, it does have very much a uh, kind of a Unity, uh, Ubuntu Unity window manager or GNOME shell type feel, um, which I actually don't like because um, I don't think putting a, it looks like a, uh, a tablet interface on, on a desktop just doesn't work for me. Now, this does because um, you kind of have the best of both worlds, a um, desktop um, and a, a search bar, integrated search bar type of thing. I think it's a great idea. It kind of breaks it, uh, splits it up in different sections. This top section right here is your most used applications. Uh, you can drag and drop uh, right into this uh, top bar, which I got two right here. And uh, this one in the middle is kind of um, seven uh, different groups, which go into subgroups. Uh, another way to find your most uh, or different applications, you just click on that and then search in here. Uh, another thing right here, they have a, a, a search bar and you just type in whatever um, whatever a application you have and uh, do it that way. And um, first thing I kind of noticed about it is it was how uh, quick and fast it was considering this virtual machine only uses about one gigabyte of RAM and one core. Which actually defaults uh, unless you set it beforehand. I forgot about it, and I'm like, oh, I'm now I'm only running this on very small specs. So you can imagine running it on a four core with maybe four gigs of RAM. It'd uh, probably f uh, fly on it. Another thing I noticed as well, um, this uh, I'm not running it with any graphic acceleration because um, VMware Fusion does not support graphic acceleration on Linux guest operating systems. But yet, uh, when you move um, a window around, it kind of has a translucent feel. And it's very like 3D-like, um, which is um, well-developed. Um, that tells me it's kind of well-developed. And uh, we're also going to look into the um, this file browser, which is called Dolphin. Now, the uh, SuperX development team didn't actually develop it themselves, but they have modified it to make it more easier to use, which I noticed as well. Because uh, you can actually separate it into different windows, uh, kind of like tabs, which uh, I often do. Um, that way I can just uh, drag um, stuff right in here, and it makes it easier because on uh, other Linux distros, I actually got like as many as uh, four or five browsers open at the same time, this would uh, obviously make it a lot more easier. And uh, actually this is what says, uh, I'll tell you about some of the changes on KD that they made. Um, they actually did some uh, a lot of performance uh, to make it faster, especially the KDE environment, uh, especially with the menu system, which we kind of did already. Um, it's actually quite enhanced to make it a lot faster. Uh, to access your uh, icons. And uh, another thing, of course, uh, was the KDE distro itself. And it says, some say Super S X is the fastest KDE distro they have ever used. So that kind of tells you the the, uh, the performance you can get on uh, something like this. Uh, they also, in the future, they're going to fork this off from Ubuntu and kind of develop Ubuntu separately from uh, Conical. And that way they're actually making more of uh, their own distro separate from Ubuntu. So it's going to be a, a very, some very interesting uh, way of doing things. Now, the reason, usually every distro has a certain reason why they develop for it. 
usually you kind of want to have a main theme. And the theme for this is kind of uh, more of a mobile operating system feel, as you can see with these icons, uh, to make it as user-friendly as possible. And also people transitioning from Microsoft Windows onto a Linux environment, because uh, a lot of people know that Linux, uh, if you dig in, you can actually dig in quite deep, and it can be quite a daunting task trying to learn everything. So they're good, uh, that's the main reason for SuperX. Um, this is actually a very wonderful operating system, very well done, and uh, kudos to them.